Using a value ladder is the best way to make more money with your business or your personal brand. If you sell high ticket items online or you eventually want to, you can't just start off selling those high ticket items because you won't get very many sales. Rather, you need to lead people up to those higher ticket items by using a value ladder. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can do that. What is up guys, Kyler Olson here, back with another video helping you build a successful personal brand online. Now, if you are new here, I post videos on all things personal branding, so if you do like today's video, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos every single week. Now, if you don't know what a value ladder is, let me explain what it is by sharing my experience with a car dealership service department value ladder. So, I was subscribed to an email list at a car dealership where I had recently gotten an oil change. Well, I got an email from them that was telling me that I could come in for a free tire rotation and, you know, I hadn't had one done on my car for a while, so I decided to take them up on it. I went in, got the rotation, and at the end of the tire rotation, they told me that, you know, my tire tread was very low and that I would need to fix that very soon on all four of my tires. And luckily enough, they were having a deal going on where if I bought two tires, I would get two tires free. And if I want to take advantage of it, I could do it that day while I was already in at the service department. On top of that, they also noticed that I had a cracked windshield, which I already knew about, but they were telling me that I would need to replace the whole windshield if I wanted to fix that crack and that I should think about doing that because, you know, my windshield was making my car a lot less structurally safe. After they explained the fixes that I would need for my car, they gave me a quote for everything and they told me that they could fix all of the fixes that I needed that day, which, you know, it sounds super convenient to me because I didn't want to have to take a bunch of trips back to the service department to get them fixed. Well, I decided not to take them up on it because I didn't have the money for all of that at the time. It was, it was pretty expensive to do, so I passed on it and, you know, if I would have taken them up on it, then I would have been going up their value ladder. After the tire rotation, I went home and a few days later, I got an email from the service department and in the email, they gave me the trade-in value of my car and they told me that they really wanted my car and that I could trade it in for a higher value than it was worth in order to get the newer version of my car and if I wanted to do that, I could just come into the service department and then start talking to one of the representatives there. Well, I didn't do this either, but if I would have, they would have made a few thousand dollars off of me. This whole experience of going in for a free tire rotation and then potentially spending, you know, thousands of dollars if I would have actually went up their value ladder, it really shows how a proper value ladder should work and the potential of it. Since I didn't actually go through the value ladder because I didn't have the money at the time, I'm gonna put up a little graphic of their value ladder so you can visualize how it works. So basically how their value ladder works is they get people in with a bait, which was the free tire rotation for me, and you know, this could have been something else like a free car inspection or something like that where they could add more value and make more money in addition to the free thing that they're offering after the fact. So after people take advantage of that first offer of the free tire rotation, the dealership tries to add more value to the experience. So like for me, they offered to replace my tires and my windshield that same day because they're both in need of being replaced. And now I'm guessing the uh, value ladder is a little bit different for each person that comes in depending on their car and their tire situation, but this is what it looked like in my case. Okay, now let's apply this to you. So a value ladder works in the same way, it has the same concept online, whether you're an online business or a personal brand that sells high ticket items. Now, you don't want to just sell high ticket items right away by selling like a course or a mentorship program without offering any kind of value first because, you know, if you're asking for like hundreds of dollars from someone without them knowing about the value you can provide, they're going to think you're crazy, okay? People need to test the water first with 
the value that you can provide them and they want to see what kind of value can you give them with something small before they move up to the bigger higher ticket item there's a lot of ways you can set up a value ladder and it depends on the business and the niche that you're in but let's give you a simple value ladder concept that you can copy and make your own with your business so let's focus on someone in the entrepreneurship space with a personal brand and let's just say they teach e-commerce online a great way for this e-com teacher to start building out his value ladder is by offering a bait such as a free product or lead generation product so this could be anything such as like a free checklist to finding profitable products to sell online or maybe even a free mini course teaching people how to properly set up a Shopify store. Now, for these people to get this free product, what they need to do is exchange their name and their email, and then they can download the product within their email. Now, this gives the e-commerce teacher a way to market to these people, and you know, they're kind of like leads and prospective customers because they download something for free and they showed their interest, so now, this e-com teacher can take that email and market his other products and his higher value products to these people for free. Next, the e-com teacher could move on to selling a self-liquidating offer. So if you don't know what a self-liquidating offer is, what it basically is is selling a product for a low price that is just enough to cover the advertising expenses of it. You're not really looking to make money with the product, you're just trying to cover those advertising expenses. So this e-com teacher could sell something like an e-book that shares all the strategies for being successful in e-commerce. Then after people purchase that e-book for $17 and he doesn't really make any money off it, he could offer a bump up sell on top of that e-book. So right after those people purchase the e-book, he could offer something such as like a Facebook advertising course for you know a little bit more money like $50 so he actually makes a little bit of money from the self liquidating offer and not directly from it but from doing a bump up sell. Now people have been moving slowly up his value ladder by purchasing these smaller value items and smaller priced items and so he can start offering things like coaching and consulting calls that are of higher value and of higher price. And then finally, after that, that is when he can get to the highest value item that he sells, such as a course or mentorship program. Since people are going through the value ladder of the e-com teacher, they're going to know that he provides so much value with the items that he sells. And even though they're smaller value items, like he provides as much value as he can within them. And people are going to know that and they're going to be way more inclined to actually purchase the full course, the highest value item that he offers because they're going to expect great value out of it even though it's a little bit higher priced compared to his other items. And you know like if you're selling a course you're going to want to make sure that you put so much value in it that it's the best value that you can provide so people are going to expect it and they're going to get it. So that is how you build a value ladder guys and a little pro tip with this as well is you want to have a recurring revenue stream within your value ladder somewhere. So this can be anything such as like a mentorship program that goes on a monthly basis or even ongoing coaching calls or something like that. You just want to have a recurring stream of income coming in. I'm going to put up a graphic of a value ladder right now that you can use and you can copy the concept of it and apply it to your business. So yeah guys, this is how you make more money with your business when you're selling higher ticket items. Now guys, I want you to take this concept of the value ladder that you see right now and I want you to apply it to your business with your products or your potential products that you want to sell. So when you do this, you're going to have way more of a clear direction of how you're going to sell your products and how you're going to keep providing value so people move up your value ladder. And that is all I have for you guys today. Now, if you did learn something new in this video or if you took any value from it, please leave a like for me. It really does help me out and it supports my channel a lot. And if you guys do want more videos just like this one on personal branding, please hit the subscribe button for more videos every single week. Also guys, if you know that this video could help someone out, please share it with them and you know, it supports me as well so that would be awesome. 
As always, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.